Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening and welcome one more time to Dr. PJ Prophetic Word. I want to welcome all my brothers and sisters from around the world. And I just want to tell you that I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you studying. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel as we study and pray together. Father God, in the name of Jesus, touch each and every one. Give them spiritual eyes to see, spiritual ears to hear. Father God, I pray for your wisdom and your knowledge and your understanding in the Word of God and the Holy Spirit. For you to open up the eyes and each and every one of us and your ears. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I pray. Amen. And today we're going to be studying from Psalm number 9. Psalm number 9 is a warfare psalm. And we're going to start in verse 1. And I'm reading from the King James Version. From the authorized King James Version. To the chief musician upon Mutlaben. A psalm of David. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause, thou hast status Thou satest in thy throne, judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out your names forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Although enemy, destructions are come. To a perpetual end. And thou hast destroyed cities. The memorial is perish with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He had prepared his throne for judgment. And he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. O Lord, also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For though, O Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee, sing praises to the Lord. Which dwelleth in Zion, declare among the people is doing. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembered them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble which I suffer of them that hate me. That thou lifted his me up from the gates of death. That I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of thy daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they did, which they did hit, is their own feet taken. The Lord is known by judgment, which he executed. The wicked is near in the works of his own hand. Hagian Silah. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, 
Let not man prevail. Let the heathen be just in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. And Father God, thank you for this psalm, Father God. Psalm number 9 is a psalm of spiritual warfare. And as I teach this spiritual warfare, Father God, to empower your people, empower your children today, Father God. Empower them, body, them, mind, their spirit and soul for what is to come. It is written, God say, that the nation that forgets you shall be turned into hell. And this nation, this nation that you has created, this beautiful America, is turning into hell. Slowly but surely we are turning into hell. Slowly but surely this country has disobeyed God. The spiritual leaders in our land has turned their back to the truth. They have taken out of the word of God. They have added on into the word of God. And the punishment is the plagues. The punishment is sickness and disease. The punishment is war and chaos in the street. The punishment is poverty. The promise is death. The day you sin you shall surely die. And what the Lord is saying that is enemies. They shall fall and perish at his presence. Because the judgment begins at the house of God. Father God in the name of Jesus. Your enemies are my enemies. And my enemies are your enemies. The persecution is started. The persecution of your people has started. That's made us homeless. That's made us jobless. That's made us callless, Father God. Have mercy upon us, Father God. And deliver us. Deliver us from our enemies. Deliver us from these evildoers. Because they have written, you have maintained the right and those saddest on thy throne and judge it right. Rebuke the heathen, O Lord. Destroy the wicked for us, Lord, in this nation. Put out their name forever and ever. Father God, that's changed the laws. They has forced us. They has depressed us. They gave us depression. They have gave us panic attacks, Father God. Father God. Dry our tears. Uh, Cause we cry out to you for mercy Lord. Right now. Right now for the God. And prepare us. Uh, prepare us for this end time. For the God. In verse number 6 you say. In Psalm number 9 verse 6. Although enemy. The enemy of God. The enemy of the cross. The enemy of your people. Although enemy. Destructions are come to a perpetual end. And though has destroyed cities. Uh, they have destroyed Lord. And Lord said they shall perish. I said your enemies shall perish. And they shall perish. The Lord said they shall perish. The word of God said they shall perish. He shall bring destruction upon your enemies. They said the Lord. Uh, rebuke the heathen. Do us rebuke the heathen. Do us destroy the wicked. Though us put out their name forever and ever. The word of God said their name shall be taken out the book of life. They have taken out the word. They have added on to the word. They have blasphemed the word of God. They have practiced lies and false prophecy. Why are you listening to them? The words are empty. But the word of God is truth. It said although enemy destructions are come. Your destruction are come to a perpetual end. And do us destroy cities and your memorial is perish with them. And also the Bible say, the word of God say in verse number 8 of this Psalm number 9. And he shall judge the world in righteousness. And he shall minister judgment to the people in rightness. And it says also that the Lord also will be a refuge to the oppressed. A refuge in the times of trouble. Father God, you have a refuge. You are a shield. You are a buckler. You are the keeper and the lifter of my help. Father God is a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. 
Ten said the, the, the verse of promise, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For though Lord has not forsaken them that seek thee, I said the Lord will never leave you. The Lord will never forsake you. But when the Lord make it inquisition for blood, he remember them. He forget it, not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me and consider my trouble. I said the Lord will consider your trouble that you suffer because of the hand of the enemy. Oh, that lifted me up from the gates of death. The Lord will protect you even from the death angel. He did it for the children of Israel when they put the blood upon the door spools. He will protect you. He will protect. They said the wicked, 70, the wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forget God. All the nations and every individual that forget God shall be turned into hell. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, and let not man prevail. Not, not wicked men and wicked women. Evil women and evil men prevail over your people and over this nation. In the name of Jesus, judge them, Lord. Judge the Eden in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Be blessed and be encouraged in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, Amen. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ.